What's happening is Pulse Retro Gaming. I wanted to showcase my arcade one up one more time. I've made some quality of life changes and some updates to the arcade and I wanted to talk about it because one of my videos, um, there's been conversation about people wanting to do their own arcade one up mod. And I just wanted to talk about what I did on mine. I am by no means a professional modder or anything like that. I just had the parts available, the monitor was replaced with a 17 inch monitor vga connection and inside there's a uh, hp i believe it's a 8200 desktop computer the front panel has uh, the the original usb on button and the usb connections i added that actually like a weekend ago the um, credits button that's over here so I'll, I'll turn this on in a moment i replaced the stock buttons for player one and player two i've also added the red um ball there for the joystick i left these um buttons which i really dislike these buttons and that's why i replaced them here i like the clicky um responsive buttons but for start it doesn't matter you can just press start there are a few uh, games. I have Sega Genesis on here, so I kind of need these buttons. I don't mind it that much. Um, so uh, the the connection here is one solid button, one one, one plug that um, I have like connected to two. So I'll go back over here, and you can see here I have the the two um, power connections for the monitor and the computer going through one. So when I turn on the PC, it will turn on both um, monitor and the computer. And I have a hardwire um, ethernet port if I ever need it, but I also have inside a, uh, a wireless connection. Up at the top, I have um, a trackpad for the mouse when I need to use the mouse. And I have these three keys here um, for escape. When I want to leave a game and um, the volume buttons up and down for this here. So let me go ahead, turn this on and show how this works. Um, I have a solid state drive in the computer. So the boot time is uh, minimal and what I have it set up to um, start up with LaunchBox and um, Big Box. I did purchase LaunchBox, the, um, the Big Box. It's worth it. It's very cool, especially for this um, setup here. Um, there will be a startup video, which you can get from the launch uh, box site. They have a variety of things you can choose from. And uh, one, one, uh, a different, if you have multiple um, videos, a different one will, will play each time. So because this is the final fight, um, arcade one up, you have that, that one speaker over there, which is, it works for my purposes, it's fine. And once this video is finished, it will go on into big box here. So my setup for big box, because I have a four by three monitor, um, it looks like this, it, it resembles hyperspin actually and i know the purpose the reason why i'm actually making this is uh someone was interested in um how fightcade works so here i put a fightcade uh application here and should just work so it goes into the fightcade category and then it launches fightcade i believe yeah i i am online by default um so there is no video card in the computer, and I have um, SNK versus Capcom 2 here. So the i5 processor and um, Fightcade can handle, I'm just gonna play a test game here, and then just play start game. It, it can handle it really well, it per plays perfectly. The The downfall to what my, comp my button setup is this, is that I only have, you know, three buttons to deal with. So, while that's not, like, if you created your um, arcade cabinet and did a six button layout, then you're good to go. Um, so not a big deal. My initial plan was to plug in the USB uh, 
the arcade joystick and, and then I'll be fine. But Windows has a tendency to wipe out your configuration um, for MAME and stuff. Someone's challenging me in third strike, um, which I will not take, obviously. But let's just demonstrate how this works. And it, it plays perfectly. That's, uh, I mean, I can't, I can't stress that enough. And uh, let's see. So let me move this mouse out the way. I'm not sure why it's not in full screen, but I'll deal with that later. I'm not worried about it. It's very cool. And I'm just showing off I can do fireballs with one hand. I'm desk. So anyway, and if I wanted to exit this, um, I guess I have the trackpad and I can go ahead and close um, Fightcade and you're back into, um, what is this called? It's called, um, what the hell is it called? I forgot. Launchbox. Um, it's funny because it's supposed to, I, I should be able to control Launchbox right now, but it's not. But I'm going to exit Launchbox with my hotkey. And uh, I actually have this USB switch to turn off the, the keyboard because my software, for some reason, doesn't automatically allow me to, it doesn't connect um, like when you start up the computer. So I wouldn't be able to turn off the thing. Uh, so I'm going to relaunch big box here and a new video will play wasn't my intention so i'll just uh, demonstrate playing a, like playing a game and then exiting how it should look how it how it does look um so we'll play nintendo outrun for a moment that, that cursor should disappear. There it is. And then, you know, I played this, I guess, for a couple seconds. Get a turbo boost. And that's cool. So I'm done playing the game, theoretically. And then I hit escape. And it goes back into launch box. And then, you know, you can play whatever else. And um, these are my categories. These are all the games that I wanted. I have, like, thousands of arcade games. Um, I realized recently that you can play Pac-Man co-op, so I put the Pac-Man game in here. I made a Pac-Man category. My son loves playing Pac-Man or watching me play Pac-Man. So I just have a variety of different Pac-Man games. Of course, I've got my Street Fighter, even though I really can't utilize all the Street Fighter, but I can definitely play the Game Boy version. Oh, I'll... <laughs> That's pretty loud. Um, let me see if I can demonstrate something else okay and then i have a arcade one up to represent the um the games that were originally that came with this but also the other ports that uh, accompany uh my 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 setup so playing nintendo let's see if the volume works okay I think there's an issue with the Nintendo one, but I'll play um, an arcade game and then show how the volume is supposed to work. Pac Land. Let me get out of this camera. So here's the coin button, by the way. Ugh. What I was doing in, uh, originally was um, switching this from on to off in order to get a credit, which you can totally do, no big deal. The wiring, let me do the volume. See, the volume's getting louder. The volume's going low. And all that stuff. Anyone who played Pac-Man before and didn't know about this, I'm gonna show you something. I learned this very recently, and I've played this game. I've known of this game a long time. I played it when I was a kid. Uh-oh. Yeah, get the ghost. My son goes, oh, every time I eat a ghost. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know if I need the power. Okay, here it is. You're welcome. And now he's got a freaking hard hat, like a baseball hard hat, to power up. Crazy, I never even knew. I learned it like this year. All right, so I'm gonna lower the volume here. Now the volume's low and I'm gonna exit the game. Um, so we're back in the launch box and I would spend the, the rest of my um, my game session here. I created the Namco Museum um, category. I've also created um, the Beats of Rage, I had to add the art for it and stuff, but, um, 
it's very cool you know i to have the collection of my favorite you know category street fighter here um i'm looking for a solution for in being able to plug in um and unplug usb uh, joysticks without it ruining the configuration for um mame and stuff so if anyone knows anything about that then that's that'd be cool so what i'm gonna do here is um when i'm done playing i exit and then i hit a you know escape again and then i turn off the system and that is uh pretty much it what else is there to talk about let's see if i wanted to like use a um you know keyboard or something i usually have this uh external keyboard with the usb which i would plug in here and i could then use a keyboard so if i wanted to type something hit the start button where are you hiding i think my battery might have no the battery's on here um keyboard let's see what's the best way to do it okay now i'll just type stuff so I, if i ever need to do it I, i'd use this um and that's how that works or i can use a wired keyboard or whatever um let me think i think um well another thing is for player one and player two is being shared by uh one control port one controller so i have this map with a generic like usb um board for for um for controller so because there are enough buttons for for all of this on um, you can put you know more than one but i have this just one player um and it serves my needs so um i think that covers everything i'm not sure this is the standard look for um for launch box and um while this is acceptable to use on the arcade um for for an arcade setup the better bet is to use big box because it then you can then control your control your arcade not with a mouse clicking and pointing but with um i'm just gonna skip this but you can then control the game from here and it just makes more sense you know it makes it that much better you don't have to rely on a keyboard and a mouse you don't need a drawer or anything like that you can just have it all contained uh, and playable so if there are any questions um leave them in the comments like share and subscribe all that good stuff and uh thank you for watching so if you want to see me on my full-size arcade in the basement um you can catch me on twitch at post retro gaming uh, and uh, I built that cabinet as well. Again, I'm not a professional. I just I just get lucky. I got plexiglass and all this other stuff. I just rebuilt the cabinet. Um, just hang out, come and chat. Um, you know, do all that, all that other things. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna probably play some games, and I will catch you later. Stay fresh, cheese bags.